Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will learn about one of the command of the BC Container Helper through which we can validate our app with respect to the app source validations. So the statement which I said, let me break into pieces and explain you word by word. So for example, uh, currently as you can see that this is uh, my Docker container which I'm running. This is not the cloud BC. However, uh, if you are doing the development uh, and creating an extension or creating an app uh, in the business central, so uh, when we publish, uh, like when we develop any app for the cloud BC, uh, we generally publish our app to the Microsoft app So uh, as you can see from here that uh, based on uh, like multiple partners worldwide are actually publishing uh, their apps uh, in the Microsoft App Source and those uh, after pass all the validations uh, will be listed out here. So if you also want to uh, publish your app to the App Source, of course you need to uh, follow all the guidelines with respect to the uh, App Source uh, requirements and then when you push your app to this app source via partner center portal there microsoft validate your app with respect to all the app source validations and then there are high chances that certain uh, compliance which you are not following in your extension you will get to know at that level and then uh, you will receive an error and you have to solve those things so uh, one of the way through which uh, we can test our app uh, in-house only when you are doing the work locally uh, via Docker container or anything. Uh, so for example, let's say uh, this is my extension AL project 3. Okay, I'm, I'm building this. Um, it's a very small extension although, but however, let's say uh, this is your extension and it's a version one, right? And uh, now you want to publish this to the app source. So what we want is that I want to know uh, basically if I can test this application that it complies with all the regulations, all the rules of the app source. Uh, so there is one uh, settings, there is one code analyzer as well uh, in the, if you go to the extensions, sorry, not extensions, but if you go to the settings uh, here, uh, you will type code analyzer. Okay, and here you have to mention the settings uh, AL dot code analyzer app source call. So based on this setting, when you uh, save this file, uh, mm -hmm. it will start checking your app with respect to the app source validations. However, uh, if you go into the PowerShell and if you have already installed the BC container helper, right, then there is one command available through which you can validate, you can check your app that it uh, complies with all the uh, rules and all the test cases and everything should be passed or not with respect to the versions of the business center. Okay, so let's understand that command. I have mentioned here three uh, examples based on uh, what is what type of app you want to push to the app source. So for example, uh, you you are pushing a very fresh app a first version of your app then and it's a single app uh, together there is no dependent app as such and nothing like that so for that uh, the very first command which you have to type here is run hyphen ai validation okay now this command actually uh, consists of so many parameters based on whatever i want to test with respect to my app I need to pass it one by one. And if I pass it one by one in a one line, it will be two bit. So I just want that uh, it should, uh, I should add the parameter line by line in order to do so. So for example, if I just type my command name and then press enter, and now I want to add the parameter of it, then you will see that nothing is coming up. So uh, we have to add apostrophe, okay. So this is the uh, kind of a thing which you have to add. And then when you press enter, now 
system will understand that you are in a continuation of your uh, command which you want to run and you are you want to add the parameters of it okay so now when i uh, press this uh, i'm getting all the list uh, of the parameters which uh, are essential in order to run with this command okay so very first thing is which we have to use uh, basically you can see that container name image name credentials and all those sort of stuff uh, however if you uh, want you can pass uh, some things like for example license file your license file which you can pass here okay then again apostrophe and then again i want to add one more parameter so this time i will select apps okay so this is the switch where we have to provide the path of my dot app file where my like for example if i go to the extension here this is my app file available okay and i need to provide uh, that I, if i want to check this app file then i have to provide the path of this file okay so for example i can select the complete path based on where my file is available so this is the one okay so this is the complete path so here i need to provide the path of my app which i want to test then what i want is that for example if you want that your app should be validated by the microsoft with respect to the current version of the business center only so i can pass this switch which means that it will test your application with only bc24 in case you don't want on uh, sorry okay now in case you want that it should test with particular version then you can select this switch and mention that which version uh, you want uh, the microsoft to test your application okay otherwise for current uh, you i have already provided the switch now uh, let's say you want to test your application with respect to the next minor version as well and the next major version as well then also you can provide these switches one by one okay next minor means that the 24.1 which will be which will launch next month so uh, i want that my application should be tested with that particular version as well okay now another very important uh, parameter which is called countries so here countries uh, let's say i want whatever like in whichever countries you want your application to be work on so you can provide uh, that particular uh, that particular uh, country name okay so for example if i want that it should uh, be compatible with the us localization so i should provide the us localization name uh, okay I, or in case you want that uh, you want to test it uh, you want to test that uh, your application should work in multiple countries so i can provide uh, the list of those countries with respect to the by making this uh, switch as an array okay so i need to use at the rate and then i can provide uh, all the names uh, as a string which uh, wherever i want this application to be tested right so in this way i can provide multiple localizations as well now if i see another switch maybe let's see if i can use another switch yeah so uh, you are seeing this skip verification skip upgrade skip app source copy okay although these three are not recommended but uh, because uh, in case you don't want to test this in your local so don't think that microsoft will also not test this microsoft will test these parameters definitely when you want to push this to the app source so my suggestion is that you should not use it but however in order to test it locally and you don't want to go ahead with certain things then you can add at least this script verification code which is which means that your application is not uh, signed digital certificate digitally signed certificate is not attached with your app okay and that's why you don't uh, if you run this uh, 
you will get an error but if you add this that means you will not get an error right so this is the way now you have added the command and now uh, basically when you run this for example if i run this okay as you can see that it is started running right and uh, if i want to show you because it will take some bit of time okay you can see from here that it is first of all checking all my parameters uh, based uh, based on this command requires and then it is now what it will do it will basically pull that latest image uh, of the business central based on the version you have provided and then like you can see here that it is determining the artifacts which means that because i want uh, to test my application for us localization for ca localization so it will fetch out the artifacts uh, of these countries only and then it will create the container a docker container of bc uh, for us first then it will validate my application against the us localization then it will create the uh, bc container for ca localization and then it will test my application for ca localization okay uh, because as i mentioned that it is a long process it is not something which will uh, you will run it and execute it and it will complete the execution in just 2 minutes or 5 minutes so uh, what i have done is uh, here uh, i have already ran it before just to show you the test cases the results and as you can see from here uh, it basically because i was running uh, for only us localization so basically it first of all found the one uh, found the required artifact and then it basically uh, started creating as well okay so you can see here that found and then using and then creating containers so it is now creating the bc container for us localization and afterwards it was it is running the app source cop so basically app source cop is means that it is now checking my app with respect to all the validations of the app source cop and where uh, for example you can see that mandatory fxs fxs is very important when you want to push this to the app source the three uh, letter abbreviation which you need to attach with your extension and those three letters uh, abbreviation you need to register with the microsoft uh in order to uh, push your app to the app store so it is missing as you can see from here and then uh it is doing all those of stuffs and now you are seeing that uh, app store cop uh, running is completed and i'm getting some sort of errors okay so running app store cop took 242 seconds afterwards it is removing the container and now you can see that all validations are finished in these particular second and these are the results of my validation where i am getting multiple errors right manifest property uh, like errors with respect to the app.json uh, errors with respect to the id because for app source if you want to push your app these ids will not work right and uh, hence i am getting an error of this uh, particular thing as well then the translation file is missing okay data classification property is missing okay so you can see that i am getting the list of all the errors all the expected expected error which uh, i might get when if i push my app to the app source without testing my app locally in my uh, local computer so this is the best use case of this command run ai validation where it will try to check and run uh, your application with respect to the app source validation and you will get all sorts of error uh, uh, prior only on which you can check it one by one and you can solve it uh, all together before uh, you push it to the app source and then uh, you will not receive any sort of error right so this is the first case let me quickly uh, uh, for example understand the second case as well 
let me cancel it okay so because now we have already seen that what exactly uh, the output of this command is so let's uh, run other commands okay so this time for example uh, I can copy this path but here what I'm saying is that this is I want uh, the second situation should be that I want to push an update of my app update of my app means that uh, this is the version 1 uh, like let's say my version 1.0.0 has already been released and now I want version 1.1 to be released so this is the path uh, let's say where my version 1.1 is there okay and then previous version also I need to provide so for that there is a switch called previous apps okay so previous app switch not, is nothing where you have to provide the first version of this app so that it will check your application with respect to the breaking changes if you have introduced anything with like it will test the changes uh, which you have done from version 1.0 to 1.1 right so this is something you have to provide uh, the dot app file uh, in the app switch and in the previous app switch and then the rest of the things are same only where uh, based on your requirement you can add these things and then run your command accordingly which will test your application uh, which will do all sorts of stuff uh, which uh, uh, we have done in the step one however this time it will match it will check your version 1 and version 1.1 and see if any breaking changes you have introduced uh, between these two versions or not okay now uh, let's see the third part in the third part let's say uh, here not only okay sorry let me copy this part not only you want to uh, push your main app but your app have certain library apps as well library apps as a dependent apps as well which you want to push otherwise your main app will might not work as well so what we can do here is that in this app switch only i can uh, create it as an array and then just like uh, for the countries tab uh, here we provided multiple uh, list uh, of the different countries localization i can provide the list or the path of the multiple apps one by one uh, in this particular app switch so that system will consider all these apps which you will mention here and then system will test and check all these applications against the localization which you will set under the country switch and test application one by one okay because both these two applications together can work correctly one application cannot work correctly hence uh, you want to push both the apps however the second app is a library app so obviously library app will not directly be available to the app source but it is very much required in order to make this main app work perfectly right so the idea is that based on uh, your requirement uh, as i've showed you that various switches are available which you can test and uh, and uh, use it or as per your need however uh, the major uh, thing is that you should know what is the use of this command which actually helps you to test your applications in your local system only okay so that's only which i wanted to share in the today's video uh, 
if you like it i request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video